girl Lee back with another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a eyebrow tutorial. I know that sometimes it's real hard getting to learn how to do your eyebrows. I know when I first started, it was real tough and I had some dark blocks right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to avoid that as well as how to make them look natural and glamorous and you know, all that. If you guys are interested in this video, keep on watching. These are what my eyebrows look like without the pomade, the pencil, the gel, whatever. This is what my eyebrows look like. Not too far from what they did look like. They're just a little bit more sparse. I like my eyebrows to look full. So starting, we're gonna need a few things. So I use the Anastasia pomade in the color medium brown. And then I also use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5 what it looks like and this has a spoolie as well as the pencil a brush for the concealer I have the MAC select cover-up concealer in the shade NC30 which as you can see is kind of running out but it's perfectly fine because you don't need a lot of concealer for your brows and then also I have this super old Anastasia brow pencil kind of brush it has a brush and then a spoolie um, this is okay, but I like to define my brows with the pencil and then go in and kind of like fill in the lines. So starting with the pencil, I'm going to be taking the spoolie side and just brushing up my hairs. What I'm going to do is put these little things back, girl. Just brushing my hairs up just to kind of set them in place as to where I want them throughout the whole day. As well as, I like my brows to look feathery. I don't want them to look like they're just drawn on. So I brush my brows in a motion so that my hair still peek through the makeup. So now what I'm gonna be doing is taking the pencil side of this brush. This is what it looks like. What I'm gonna be doing is going under my eyes, starting in the middle and then making a line as to how, I, how arched I want my brow. This is up to you guys, whether you want a super arched brow, a super flat brow. In my case, I'm just gonna go toward my brow line. I already kind of had the arch that I want. I'm just gonna be filling in the sparse areas on the bottom. Another tip is I suggest that you have a super light hand. You don't want to have black eyebrows or super dark brows. It just doesn't look good, especially being that brows do frame your face. So you want to be very careful as to how you style them, I would say. You want them to compliment you, but you don't want them to take away from your look. Another tip is it is going to be easier for those of you who are beginners to have your eyebrows done, just to get you kind of like in practice, it's easier when it's done. When you do have more experience with your brows, then that's when it's easier to do your brows when they're not done. So starting, I started here at the corner, and just with a light hand, I'm just going toward my brow line, and Sometimes I like to uh, extend this brow a little bit more just because this brow is shorter than this one. And I said don't worry about messing up just because we have concealer so it is easier to just kind of embrace it. So then I'm gonna go to the top of the brow and kind of do the same thing where I'm just filling in these areas right here and just defining my shape a little bit more. So that is kind of just like an outline of this brow. As you can see, I kind of just outlined how I want it to look in the end. I'm just gonna be doing the same thing on the other side and then we're gonna go on to the next step.
Another thing I would like to emphasize is that your brows are going to be darker on the outer part. So your tail will be darker than the middle part. And that's what you really want. You don't want it to be all one tone. Just because it's going to make it look like a block a little bit. You want it to be kind of a gradient look, a ombre eyebrow, just a little bit lighter here, and then it goes darker. So now I'm going in with my Anastasia pomade. I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia brush and just going in a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is put it on the cap and just smear it a little bit, just to get all the excess product out and I kind of control what how much I put on so you always want to start with the most product on the tail and then eventually feather up into the front And then what you're doing is just filling in the sparse areas. And then just emphasizing the line that you did earlier. And if you see a little mess up, you can just go back in with the pencil and just reinforce that line. So as you can see, the brow is already kind of like in that ombre look. We're not quite done yet. As you can see, it's kind of like sparse right here, but we're just gonna go onto the second brow and then do the same step that we did here, which is kind of like filling in the lines. What the pencil does is just basically gives you a lighter look. So it's really good for beginners to kind of try both, I suggest. I kind of just started with the pomade which I wish I would have started with a pencil, but just for the mere fact that the pencil is lighter and the pomade is heavier, it's just easier for beginners. But I really like this routine just because it is kind of like dummy proof in a way. I would say like for me, it's super easy. I'm just outlining where I want my brow to be and just filling it in. It takes little to no time. With a pencil, it takes a little bit of a longer time. And with just a pomade, you have to be a little bit more precise with it. So this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Going into the second brow. Make sure that when you guys go closer to the front, have a lighter hand than you, than you did back here. It's just going to give you more of a natural look and you don't want it to be too harsh. So you just, that's why I'm saying, take the most product on the tail and then just drag up the excess to the front. One last step with the pencil, which is just filling in the front with the very light hand and just emphasizing the corners, I would say. I'm very meticulous when it comes to the front of my brow. I hate when one is like round, one is straight. It's just like <laughs> So here's what the brows look like without concealer, which I think is pretty good. Until recently, I wasn't putting on concealer with my brows. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. I just felt like I didn't need to. If you're not into that, you don't have to do it. I just feel like concealer just gives you that perfect finished look, like as if you just got your eyebrows done. So we're gonna do that right now. 
Before we do the concealer, what I'm gonna do is take the spoolie part of this brush and kind of just blending it out. The brows are kind of just like foundation. You don't want no patchy areas. You want everything to look smooth and blended and like it was just placed there, not like you did it. So taking this fully and just brushing it out. This is where you're gonna be able to see your arrows, whether you have sparse areas, whether you wanna define a little bit more, whether you kind of messed up. So going in with an angle brush, like so. My matte cover up concealer, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna be going in with the concealer and just kind of just like dabbing it out so that I can Show how much concealer is on here and going under so be very careful the last thing you want to do is kind of like move your concealer too high up and then you got to redo your brow be very patient with this step and make sure that you're getting the shape that you want so I like to start in the front and what I'm gonna do is just go under that line I just made little strokes And just defining that you can already see the difference from this one to this one and it's not even blended out going back into the concealer a little bit and just defining that get as close to the brow as possible if you do get some concealer on your brow a little bit it's okay because we're gonna go in with clear brow gel at the end And so what I'm doing after that, I draw that line. I'm just dragging down that concealer, kind of like as a brow bone highlight. Also, it makes it easier to blend out. Going back into the concealer and just going on the outer parts of my brow, just lining it against brow line. You see that definition it's already making? I'm just continuing that process to the front. There you have your brow. I like to take my ring finger and just move around the concealer and just kind of just set it in place. See how that looks? Just move it, blend it. If you have too much, just swipe some of it off, which is fine. And then if you feel like it took off some of your tail, you can just go back in with the pencil and redefine it. And then we're just gonna be doing the same thing to the other side.
So that is how it looks, which is super clean, also super easy, way easier than how I learned. I really hope this video helped you guys. And I hope you guys took away some tricks that you can use in your brow routine. If you guys have any suggestions on how you do your brows or what products you use, let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. I'm going to show you guys a close-up. This is just my preference on how I like my eyebrows to look according to my makeup. Everyone is completely different. If you want a darker brow, if you want a lighter brow, something not so dramatic, do that, sis. I'm just showing y'all my tips and tricks, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers, so smash that subscribe button. Also, I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I don't want y'all to miss 